Hi, welcome to Sunil Maths Tutorial Functional Analysis Class Number 56. In this video, we learn two simple theorems depends upon the definition of normal operator. Let us see the first, first theorem. An operator T on a Hilbert space capital H is normal if and only if norm T star X is equals to norm T X for all X belongs to capital H. Let capital H be a Hilbert space and capital T be an operator, capital T be an operator defined on capital H. We have to prove that, we have to prove that capital T is normal, capital T is normal implies and implied by it satisfies one condition norm, norm T star X is equals to norm tx for all x belongs to capital H. So right, suppose, suppose capital T is normal, capital T is normal on H. If T is normal, obviously T T star is equals to T star T, which implies simple derivation part. T T star minus T star T is equals to 0. We know that inner product of 0 into x is equals to 0. So, inner product of t t star minus t star t into x comma x is equals to 0. Because, because here the value of this one is 0. So, inner product of 0 into x becomes 0 comma x which equals to 0. So, it is right. No worries. So, which implies again? <coughs> which implies again? Inner product of t t star x minus t star t x comma x is equals to 0. Now split the inner product. Inner product of t t star x comma x minus inner product of t star t x comma x is equals to 0 which implies us. Now you shift this 2 to this place and shift this t star to this place. So you simply get inner product of t star x comma t star x minus inner product of tx comma tx is equals to 0. Remember that if you shift this t to this place the t becomes t star. If you shift this t star into this place the t star becomes t. That's it. So this is nothing but again this is nothing but uh, I mean here it is here it is inner product of t star x t star x minus inner product of t x comma t x. So this can be simply written as norm t star x whole square minus norm t x whole square is equals to 0 which implies norm t star x whole square is equals to norm t x whole square. Remove the squares on both sides norm t star x is equals to norm t x for all x belongs to h. So we choose t is normal. Therefore, if capital T is normal, if capital T is normal, then obviously norm t star x is equals to norm t x for all x belongs to capital H. Now let us try to prove the converse part. This is also very simple and easy part. Assume that or suppose or let us take let us take norm t star x is equals to norm t x for all x belongs to capital H. Our aim is to show that t is normal. We have to prove that t is normal. We have to prove that we have to prove that capital T is normal. Since norm t star x is equals to norm t x. This can be written as norm t star x whole square is equals to norm t x whole square. Which implies as inner product of t star x comma t star x is equals to inner product of t x comma t x. Which implies as inner product of t x t star x comma t star x minus inner product of tx comma tx 
is equals to 0. It can be written as, it can be written as now, uh, this T star can be here, 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 this T star can be replaced to here and this T can be replaced to here, this T can be replaced to here, you observe carefully. So when you shift like that, this T star becomes T, T star X, comma X minus minus x t star t x is equals to 0. This can be written as this can be written as yes t t star x comma x minus now replace the whole term to this position. So then it can be written as t star t whole star x comma x is equals to 0. Now it is everybody knows that uh, simple calculation t t star x comma x minus if you apply this one I think already you learned this t1 t2 whole star is equals to t2 star into t1 star using that result using that result this can be written as t star t x comma x is equals to 0. Now simplify this can be written as inner product of t t star x minus t star t x comma x is equals to 0. This is nothing but inner product of t t star x t t star minus t t star minus t star t into x comma x is equals to 0. But remember this x is not equals to 0. So which implies t t star minus t star t x is equals to 0. t star is equals to 0. Implies t t star is equals to t star t. This is nothing but t star t. Every time I write this mistake. Bad handwriting. I am sorry for that. t star t. This conclude that t is normal. t is normal. That's it. That is the important property of normal operator. I can, I can, uh, this is one of the, I write this derivation part as very lengthy. Uh, now you observe that, I write the same derivation part as, as simple as, suppose, capital T is normal, capital T is normal, implies and implied by T T star is equals to T star T, implies and implied by T T star minus T star T is equals to 0 implies and implied by inner product of t t star minus t star t into x comma x is equals to 0 for all x belongs to capital H. So you simply write like this inner product of t t star inner product of t t star x comma x minus inner product of t star t x comma x is equals to 0. This condition implies as inner product of t star x comma t star x is equals to inner product of t x comma t x which implies norm norm t star x whole square is equals to norm t x whole square which implies and implied by norm t x t star x is equals to norm t x for all x belongs to capital H. This is very very simple derivation part but for marks you can elaborate the previous one. We can elaborate as this one. So keep learning. Uh, I can prove one more property or one more theorem in the same video. Let us see the statement of that video. Next theorem. If capital N is a normal operator if capital N is a normal operator uh, on a Hilbert space capital H then norm N square is equals to norm N whole square norm N square is equals to norm N whole square by previous theorem we it is also simple proof by previous theorem we conclude that 
whenever t is normal operator whenever t is normal operator then you simply write norm tx is equals to norm t star x for all x belongs to capital h taking n in place of t taking n in place of t you simply write uh, I, I i i repeat this one please in place of t i write capital n in place of x i write nx remember that in the above result in the above result in place of t i write n in place of x i write nx so what you get from this relation norm norm n nx norm norm n nx is equals to norm n star nx norm n star nx which implies as norm n square x is equals to norm n square x is equals to norm n star nx for all x for all x so right what is norm n square apply the definition norm n square is equals to supremum of norm n star supremum of i'm sorry this is not supremum supremum of norm n square is equals to supremum of norm supremum of norm n square x n square x such that norm x less than or equals to 1 this is the definition of norm of a transformation norm of an operator norm of a linear transformation supremum of supremum of n square is nothing but norm n star nx such that norm x less than or equals to 1 this is nothing but norm n star n norm n star n since since n is normal operator n is normal operator you can write it as n star n n star n can be simply written as norm n square so you get norm n whole square uh, this is uh, again here this one norm norm n star n is equals to norm n square norm n square this is a theorem i i write the statement here please observe that please observe that uh, whenever we discuss about adjoint of an operator we write some properties of adjoint of an operator by using that properties norm t star t is equals to norm t square this is the theorem uh, somewhere uh, i don't remember the theorem statement uh, video number but among one video if we prove all these conditions norm t star t is equals to norm t square norm t star is equals to norm t and t double star is equals to t and alpha t star is equals to alpha bar t star and then we prove that t1 plus t2 whole star is equals to t1 star, t1 star plus t2 star and then t1 t2 whole star is equals to t2 star into t1 star in a theorem we prove all these properties here the sixth property norm t star t is equals to norm t square by applying that here norm n star n is equals to norm n square therefore finally we conclude that norm n square is equals to norm n whole square this is true only if the operator is normal operator this is true only if the operator is normal operator keep learning wish you all the best in the next video we we'll learn some another theorems depends upon the same normal operators and then we we'll learn unitary operators.